I'm not the first one whose life was changed by an out of the blue call from a hospital. That may have been the best day of my life. I'm Tony Rodriguez. They call me Tattoo Tony, and I'm a freehand tattoo artist. I have an A-list client base and my own tattoo shop. I'm an artist, businessman, a world traveler, and now I'm learning the toughest job of all, how to be a single father. My boy Ray Ray is four. I wasn't expecting Ray, and he for damn sure wasn't expecting me. But he showed up anyway, and our lives changed forever. The little man is showing me a side of me I didn't know was there. I'm trying to show him, well, everything and give him the kind of life I never had a shot at. At 14, I walked out of our miserable apartment in Asbury Park, New Jersey, and I never looked back. I swept the floors, ran for pizza, and I slept on a cot in the back of a local tattoo shop in exchange for an apprenticeship. I was adopted by a hard-living motorcycle gang, lots of noise, rock and roll, fun, and trouble. I learned to take care of myself. Me first, me last. Demons in hot pursuit, I found myself on a tour bus one night and I didn't get on the bus to get clean, just to get paid. My good friend Brett Michael said to me, you can either stay behind and die or you can come with me and get straight. I stayed on the bus. Me and Ray have a lot in common besides DNA. I grew up in a tattoo parlor and Ray's doing the same thing. Neither of us ever had more than a vague sense of what family was and we didn't talk much. Sometimes our lives seems like chaos but raise number one in the Tattoo Tony priority list. There is no number two. There's no number three or four or five either for that matter. But there's a six and six has a brother seven. Great tattoo artists and stage magicians. Pretty normal to us, for our friends anyway. The rest of our friends aren't quite so normal. Normal doesn't really cut it around here. There's my friends Donnie and Fatass, pro wrestlers, the Wild Samoans, Afa, Sika, Samu, and Gene Snitsky. And my friend Butch Patrick, a.k.a. Eddie Munster. Oh, and we have a new friend. Country music legend, Loretta Lynn. Brett and I had Thanksgiving at her house. The best damn Thanksgiving ever. I don't know what the society would call the funky collection of nomads, rebels, and wingmen. Ray and I have a word for them. Family. I may be a single father, but I'm not raising my son alone. I know what alone feels like and the scars it leaves, and it's not something I will allow him to raise life. No one with this amount of support in their life is alone. Here's the story. This ain't Wonderland. There's school and banks and taxes and people who think a little boy maybe shouldn't be growing up in a tattoo shop hanging with wrestlers or mockers and have a dad who looks like me. They'll change when they get to know us <laughs> or be scared to say anything. That works too. For the first time in life, I think I know what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm putting it all on the line to do it. When I look at the little guy, I know how high the stakes are in this. I'm Ray's dad, he's my ray of sunshine. It's all starting to make sense. Thought of the day, life can be beautiful.